Hello, everyone. Um, today, I want to introduce you to the annotated bibliography assignment. Uh, let's begin very simply about what an annotated bibliography is. An annotated, the word annotated is simply the root of that is the word note. So an annotated bibliography is basically two things. A works cited entry, like on a, on a paper, the final page will say works cited, and then there's an alphabetical list of your sources. So you will have a list of sources, uh, and they will be formatted according to MLA, a format with guidelines. Um, and you should use the Pearson guide, which is linked to on the syllabus, to, to make sure you're using the correct format. And below each works cited entry, you simply summarize or annotate, make a note of, you simply summarize the major ideas of the source. Again, annotated bibliography is simply a list of sources in MLA format and under each source, is a summary of the major points, the major ideas of that source. So, we're excited entry, summary. Now, um, why do we do this? Because frequently a faculty member wants to get you to write a research essay. And frequently what happens is you will be assigned an annotated bibliography as a first step towards writing a research essay. Now, you're not doing that in this class, but I'm giving you the experience of doing the research. Um, it's, it's this assignment requires you to use the library, go to the library, requires you to use the library database. It also requires you to learn about what an annotated bibliography is, read things, and of course, uh, work with MLA formatting. So it's very useful. Typically, an annotated, annotated bibliography is a way of jumpstarting the writing process because if you're writing a research essay, you have to find sources. And you have to read those sources, and it also helps uh, create interesting ideas, helps generate interesting ideas. If you want to see an example of this, go all the way down to the bottom. And uh, this is not in, in current MLA format, but what do we have here? Uh, you know, we have your name, my name, etc. We have a title, then we have an alphabetical list. Now, technically, this should be indented. Uh, but it's not, let's see if I can indent it here. Technically, the second line should be indented. And for some reason, I can't get it to work, but the second line should be indented. But what you have here is, here's a source, and here is a summary of what's in the source. Here's a source, and here's a summary of what's in the source. Here's a source, and here's a summary. That's all an annotated bibliography is. Um, So hopefully that much is clear. Um, now, specific to this course, what is what are you being asked to do? I'm asking you to do research on social media. Social media includes Facebook, X, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Instagram, and many others. So you can find articles on any social media app or site so when you search, you can you can use any of these words. Uh, I'm asking you to find database sources. Now, I'm going to say this very clearly. This assignment requires you to use the library. You're not supposed to go to Google and find sources. Don't go to Google and find sources. Go to the library. Go to the library database. Your, there's many, many, many sources out there. So I don't want you just going to Google and finding an internet source. Hopefully I've been clear on that. Uh, a database is an electronic source, but it's not an internet source because the internet source is not behind, the internet doesn't have a login, right? A database requires you to log in and it's private and it's protected. That's how you know a database is different than merely the internet. You can get to the database using the internet, but you have to log in. Now, the what you should do in terms of, uh, here's what you need to do in terms of finding the database, et cetera. One, here's a video introduction that was put together by the librarian, Rachel Knight. Uh, watch this. 
and there's a handout. Now this handout is only gonna open if you're already logged into Wilberforce. So you log in here and hopefully it will pull up the handout. So if you look at this, it gives you information about, um, about using databases. Uh, here's a link to the database. Here's the username. Now, your username and password will not work on this database. They have a generic one, and I put it right here to keep things simple. So use this username and this password to get into the database. If you want to go straight to the database, click here. But these two links here will give you information about what to do. Uh, obviously, if you struggle to find sources, I don't think you will speak to a librarian. Again, database search sources only. Uh, your sources could include an article in a journal found in the database, an article in a collection or anthology found in the database, an article in a newspaper found in the database. You're supposed to find three sources and try to find easy to read ones. Remember, you have to read these sources. And if you choose one that's really complex, you're going to have trouble. You're going to hate yourself. It's easier to find something that's pretty easy to read and summarize it. Now, this is important. When you... Find a source you want to use. I want you to take a screen capture. The very first, the very first rough draft you turn in for this annotated bibliography is going to include these screen captures. So all I want you to do is take a picture of your screen. If you don't know how, you can go to Google and simply write, type in how do I do a screen capture on my Hewlett Packard or whatever. Let me show you an example. So I took a screen capture. And this is the screen capture. If I make it larger, here's the first, first source I found. Facebook and the conglomerate curse. It was from 2022. So I want you to take a picture of your three sources. And in the first rough draft you submit, you're going to include it. And it's going to have L-I-R-N right there. Let me back up. Um, all right. I'm going to finish this and then I'll back up for a minute. So you take screen captures. You create works cited. Uh, entries should be three. Then you read your sources and you underline as you read, you take notes. That's what annotate means. And then for each source, you're going to summarize in a small paragraph the basic ideas. Now, you, if you need more help with summary, go there. What is summary? Now, um, let's go up here. Go to search the database. Click there. And does it remember? Yes, it remembered a little bit. So Slim Rabbit 65 is what this should be. Slim. Let's see if I typed it correctly. I don't think it did. Should have done this ahead of time. Try it again and let's see if I can type it correctly this time. So. Oh, caps are on, I think. Let's see if I spelled that all correctly. I think there's a chance I did not. Slim Rabbit, Rabbit has one T and it's 65. I think that'll work now. So, uh, I'm going to save that. Excellent. Now, you can simply do a search here for, I don't know, Twitter. And my guess is it'll probably pull up things. Um, what you want to do is wait until the articles get pulled up. There we go. So what I want you to do is find an article and make sure you take a screen capture. of it. In my case, screen capture is like the Windows key, shift, and hold down the S. And I won't do it, but that's basically how you do it. Okay, so that's the process. The screen captures are important because I want to make sure that I know you're actually using a database. I'm going to remind you that uh, because students are using ChatGPT and AI far too much, uh, this is supposed to be actually your writing. I don't want you to use Grammarly. I don't want you using ChatGPT. I don't want you using AI. I want you to actually read these essays, 
and summarize them in your own word because otherwise you'll never learn how to do these kinds of things. I mean, these are basic skills. Uh, if you scroll down, it tells you how to format your first page. It tells you where to go in the Pearson Guide. It talks to you about signal phrases, all of these things. And if you don't know how to do the Look Cited page, there's even a presentation on that. Um, I think that's it. So again, uh, as I always say at the end of these presentations, all you have to do is contact me if you need help. Um, send me an email. We can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting or talk on the phone, whatever you need. Take care and have a good day.